Oh, everybody, amateur anime reviews. Uh, this time I have Cowboy Bebop the movie. Uh, as always, I'm going to apologize if I say pronounce people's names wrong. Okay, Cowboy Bebop the movie is a spinoff of a popular anime series from 1996 by Shinchiro Watanabe. Watanabe is also the driving force between other series such as Samurai Clampoo, uh, Machiko and Hachin, and Kids on the Slope. The series is a lighthearted sci-fi action thriller about a mismatched band of bounty hunters set in the future. The main characters are Spike, the kind of laid-back yet deadly hand-to-hand -hand fighter, Jet, an older ex-cop, Faye, sexy con woman, and Edward, a teenage girl super hacker. The series came to the definitive end after 26 episodes, so the movie takes place sometime, you know, right before the end. Uh, the movie was released in 2001. It's directed by Shinjiro Watanabe, with co-director credits going to uh, Yoshiyuku Take. Uh, the screenplay is by Kiko Nobumoto uh, from a story by Hajame Yakate, and the music is by Yoko Kano and is performed by the Seatbelts. The plot of Cowboy Bebop the movie starts as Faye is tracking down a hacker who has a price on his head, and she stumbles upon a highway accident which in which a dangerous virus is released. Faye's original target isn't on the scene, but a mysterious dark-haired man named Vincent is, and a substantial bounty is placed on Vincent as well, so the crew begins to investigate. They ultimately discover that Vincent may be involved in terrorist activities, and he's also being tracked by a woman named Electra, who is more than what she seems. Uh, the story for Cowboy Bebop, uh, the movie, for the most part is pretty straightforward. It's basically a race to stop Vincent before he can unleash his ultimate plan. I do feel the movie is very well written. The plot moves along at a quick pace and there's some interesting twists and turns along the way. The script succeeds in devoting a fair amount of focus on all the different characters. Additionally, there's also bits of philosophy that are peppered throughout the script, but it's done in such a way that it doesn't seem forced or pretentious. It's also interesting to watch the movie in English with the subtitles on because most of the spoken dialogue is very different than the subtitles uh, and obviously the translators concentrated on getting the true meaning of the scene across instead of just merely transcribing the exact words. Uh, the animation in this film is very, 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 very nice. The color scheme is great. It's muted in some places where it's appropriate, um, and it's bright and dazzling in other places. Uh, there seems to be a fair amount of rotoscoping, but it's also blended in very seamlessly with the more stylized figure work. Uh, there's excellent choices as far as like, the camera angles and the composition of the various scenes, uh, great backgrounds, uh, detailed and fluid action. I was even impressed with the kind of hand-to-hand -hand fight choreography. Uh, the world of Cowboy Bebop is very interesting. It's kind of almost like a multicultural mashup of various elements that you see in our contemporary world, and then they take it and they kind of exaggerate it. Uh, you know, different ethnicities are uh, represented, part of this world, uh, or important part of the world is music, which adds a whole nother layer to uh, the film. And the soundtrack is full of different sort of uh, musical cues that kind of pop, touch on like pop and rock and hip hop and jazz. And it's done in such a way that it kind of creates this sort of, uh, you know, great creative stew, you know. Uh, the story, the script, the visuals, and the music all create a great synergy that makes the whole greater than its parts. Uh, the film is rated R, but there's very little sexuality, and I can't remember too much profanity, so I'm sure it's, you know, just because of the violence. It does get a little bit bloody, but I don't think it goes over the top. Uh, and that's about it. Oh, I think, one other thing I wanted to say, I think originally the movie was supposed to be called Knocking on Heaven's Door, but they changed it because um, I think they didn't want to run into like copyright or trademark uh, problems with Bob Dylan's people. And anyway, that's it. I got to thank you very much for listening. Uh, if you have any comments, please leave them. Thanks. And everybody have a great day.